I'm from Romania, from Europe, and I discovered that the Big Bang is false. So there are five years now that I've discovered the Big Bang is false, and nobody listens to me. So I started this channel again with Big Bang. Andromeda. This video is about Andromeda. First of all, uh, if you look at this zoom in Andromeda, This zoom from ESA, from uh, European Space Agency, okay, uh, you, you will believe, falsely believe, that each point of that kind of point, it is a star. It is not a star, okay? If you want, must to understand this, you must think of the uh, uh, Saturn rings. There are 83 planets, uh, satellites of Saturn, and thousands of small objects, 4 meters and 500 meters, from NASA channel, a few thousand in the Saturn rings, okay? But they are not satellites. You can name it, uh, them if you want, but they are not. There are millions even of small pieces of ice, okay? So they illuminate like the moon. They reflect light, but they are not satellites. This is important for and Andromeda. Why? In Andromeda, that each point of light is it, it is not a star per se. There are few like satellites that you can name them stars, but uh, other objects are only illuminated for the from the vicinity stars. This is my first idea. Andromeda is a star. Um, Hubble it, I put this graph, okay, from Hubble. So, ha so Hubble uh, wanted to demonstrate this La Metre thing that that our Andromeda is receding. Look at this graph. He says that the Andromeda is receding from us. Okay, so. So everybody says in, uh, nowadays that Andromeda is getting close to us. So what proof, Hubble? What proof? That it is expanding, receding. So Andromeda is only a star, like this Christmas tree. Okay. Now, let me tell you, at the border of galaxy, there's matter and Andromeda. Galaxy is a star that is put in the matter, like this, okay, like this. It is not a wall like inside a of a balloon that is smooth, okay, they are like waves in the ocean. And like this is a wave thousand of kilometers, billion of kilometers maybe, of matter, unilluminated matter, not dark matter of, or dark energy, because dark matter and energy do not exist. And Andromeda is put like this. Like 
for an additional idea and image to make you um, a, a great image about this, you must think of bioluminescence in the ocean. In this way are stars. They prove that they could be small like bioluminescent beings in the ocean. And for you to understand supplementary, you must look at this guy that walks at the a beach in the ocean. Bioluminescence is the term that we use for living light. Bio meaning life and luminescence meaning light. You're probably familiar with bioluminescence through the example of a firefly. They are bioluminescence be beings, alive beings, okay? He does not burn himself or electric shock himself because that beings do not produce it only light. You have this wrong belief that the stars could should be like with fire and but like if you think that this kind of uh, pr producing light the light could be separated from, from flames and electricity. So there are many small, small ones because they do not burn and they are cold. Many of them are cold. They produce light in cold conditions. If God had this power to produce light in the ocean through biological beings he could make he could make small stars this is our, the idea how small is a star they could be stars like like this lantern okay because you do know you do not know that there's matter there and they are put in the matter and key and they can extract light and energy and produce because they are put in a wall of matter Hydrogen becomes liquid at two, minus 253 degrees Celsius. Nitrogen, oxygen, helium becomes liquid, liquid at minus 200. So there is liquid form frozen, like somehow stands still, because all the galaxy, Andromeda, and all the galaxy are stars that are, and they are stand still at the border of our, gal our galaxy. Okay, so Andromeda is only a star. Andromeda is only a star. We cannot see an object that is, you, you can say, I can say this like you, okay? Andromeda has a trillion stars. It was made 10 billion years ago and is receding from us, is approaching us, okay, and it is like 2 million light years, 2.5 light. I can say this, but it is false, okay? You cannot film an object that has a radius of 1,000 years. Andromeda, you say, that has 260 light years. Some other guy is 110, like Milky Way 100. You cannot film an object that big because the light would hit the front of galaxy now and the back and some other time. So you cannot make a picture through space, do not travel a picture, a small picture of, of an object that has a thousand light years. It is not producing a small picture that could come at a camera. You are stupid if you believe this. So the light will come the front of galaxy now exactly like this solid object. Now we'll hit the camera and after 260 light years, the back, you cannot make a coherent picture. You can make it because Andromeda galaxy is a star and has a few seconds light years from here to here, okay? So this is 
what I am I I I wanted to tell tell you this video. The stars the galaxy Androm Andromeda galaxy is only a star. Like all the galaxies are between the stars, all the galaxies, Andromeda even, they, when they put it on a t-shirt or on wallpaper, they are deleting the stars. But if you, if you see an uh, image of, an, of, of uh, I don't know, ensemble, okay, the, 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 the Andromeda is between the stars and all the galaxies are between the stars. You cannot separate there is not a clear demarcation line between the galaxy and other stars. Only if they put it on a t-shirt or something to delimitate it. So all the galaxies are inside our galaxy and are stars. 